channel and today you guys I want to talk about this wonderful product that I am so amazed I've used this product for probably I'm thinking three to four days and I can already tell you some amazing things about this product and what it has done for my skin but first we're going to talk about facts we're going to talk about like real like details that come from the company okay first of all the product looks like this it's not a new product it's been around for a while but honestly i just started using it and reason why i just started using it it's not that i wasn't into bb creams like back in 2014 2015 2016 it's just that i was so super sensitive to spf products and really i wasn't really like not super, super duper sensitive. I think I just didn't like the kind of the side effects of SPF, like the sweating and your face just getting very oily. Certain SPF products does that, not all of them. So that's what I realized with this product. So once again, this is the Garnier Skin Active BB 5-in-1 Miracle Skin Protector. It has anti-aging benefits, which I will talk to you guys about. And I have mine in light to medium, and it works whether I, I whether I mix it with the foundation or whether I wear it alone or use it alone. I feel like <clears throat> when you get an SPF product, it's best to go one shade lighter because the SPF always warms up the skin a little bit for some reason that's what i was told so anyways you guys i got mine in light to medium and it works really well but it does come out of this package here and it's really inexpensive like i think i paid six dollars and some change i think six dollars and 86 cents for this very inexpensive, but so good. I'm talking about this is really, really good. I think about this product a lot because I feel like now that I've been using it, like mixing it with foundations or just using it underneath um, foundations as a primer, and I'll talk about that. I feel like I have to have this product no matter what I use. A BB cream, CC cream, a regular foundation, a matte foundation, luminous foundation, semi-matte foundation, whatever, even concealers. I feel like this product is so worth using as a moisturizer and a primer on the skin before applying any foundations or BB creams, CC creams, whatever, tinted moisturizers, whatever. I feel like this is really a necessary product product and the reason why i say that is i'm going to give you some, some details coming from the actual website which is gornierusa.com okay and i'm going to show you that i'm reading from that website and here is the product so you see that all right so the gornier skin active five in one miracle protector bb Cream all free, light to medium is what I have. And so on the website, it is $12.99. However, I got mine for $6.98, which is, or $6.86, which is amazing. I saved almost $6. Um, so, or around $6. That's really good five benefits because it says you know on the bottle it states five in one miracle skin protector and so this is the five in one skin protector that they claim that this product will do for the skin control shine minimizes pores even skin tone hydrates and protects and the actual product is two fluid ounces, but mine is actually 2.5 fluid ounces. So I get a little bit more. Um, 
and I'm going to give you some more details. And then we're going to go back to that five and one um, miracle skin care protector um, benefits that it claimed that this product does or the company claimed that this product does. Okay, here's more information about the product. This all-free formula with mineral perline, antioxidant, wild berry, and tinted mineral pigments is specifically designed for oily to combination skin to give five skin perfecting benefits. Controls shine, minimizes pores, even skin tone, hydrates, helps prevent sunburn. Uh, now it's quick and easy to get a shine free and more even tone complexion. Results. Women agreed instantly. 93% saw a more even skin tone. 88% saw a natural shine free finish. And 84% found pores less visible. That was in a consumer study. Okay, so this is what it says how to use or how to use this product. Gently apply Garnier Skin Active 5-in-1 Miracle Skin Protector BB Cream to face and neck. Now, that's one thing I don't do is my neck, and I'm going to start doing it, okay? So, I, I've just been putting it on my face, but you're supposed to put it on the face and the neck, okay? All right, and this is to, and it's prior. You put it on your face and neck prior to sun exposure for instant coverage and correction as well as for protection. Reapply as needed. So you can put this on as many times as you need throughout the day. Uh, now, it does has a section for ingredients. And y'all, I'm not going to go through all of these ingredients. Y'all can look this product up. Um, on the website, GarnierUSA.com, and you can read everything about um, the necessary or the ingredients that this product has. All right, a little thing about the SPF, it just gives a little, it gives more information online, just so you can kind of understand like what's going on, like what's in this product what makes it so spectacular and i like that about this website and how it really gets into details about this specific bb cream commonly found in moisturizers and increasingly in hair care sun protection factor better known as spf indicates the level of sunburn protection you can expect from the sun's ultraviolet b rays SPF 15, for example, blocks 94% of UVB rays, while SPF 30 blocks 97%, SPF 50, 98%, and then SPF of 100, 99%. So products labeled broad spectrum block the deeply penetrating ultraviolet a rays too so now i understand that now i understand why there's like spf of 15 20 25 35 45 55 50 you know now i understand what it's talking about it's the level of sun protection um that you can expect from the sun's ultraviolet b rays so that's something new that i just found out about so I had no idea. So another thing that this product has, if I'm not mistaken, is that, hold on, hold on, hold on. But anyways, the SPF, okay. Now the product has vitamin C. Um, there's more to vitamin C than meets the eye. A more powerful antioxidant, it is also highly effective in fighting signs of aging, brightening skin tone, and helping reduce the appearance of dark spots over time. So vitamin C is very good for skin care. Another product that or another ingredient that is in this particular product, the Garnier Skin Active BB, 
a five in one miracle skin protector is that it has caffeine found in tea leaves yerba mate and other tropical plants caffeine is often used in hair and skin beauty formulas known to energize and rejuvenate okay that's surprising i did not know that so those are the i guess the few products or the few ingredients that they wanted to specify about this product. So yeah, that is enough for me to actually use this product. That's way enough. But just to get to the five points, which is what they talk about, is that this product controls shine, minimizes pores, even skin tone, hydrates, and protects. Now for me, it does all these things except for one and i have to say with this one just one of these five and one benefits could be because of what i use as far as a setting spray all right i agree with them when they say minimizes pores i see it like on my cheeks i can put highlighter on like today i use a highlighting uh, blush and it just really brought out like the little um my pores and i will not use that blush again if y'all wonder what blush i use i got this yesterday it's the new wet and wild um color icon blush in nudist society it's a beautiful color but it has too much highlight it just brought out all oh, like my pores just popped out so i do not like this i need to return it i'm thinking about doing it but it was just two dollars and 98 cents but it, it just look at my pores you can see my pores are in, enlarged a little bit and it wasn't like that before i used this blush just saying because that is the only new thing that i actually put on my face all right, you guys. So, but I do agree with it when it says minimizes pores because I had no issues with my pores looking in, enlarged until I used that wet and wild blush. So that is true. My pores do look smaller. My forehead, my skin just looks so smooth. So that way I know that my pores is minimized. Okay. Um, even skin tone i do agree with that i do have a few spots and things on my face it's not too much i have one that's really big right here you cannot see it do y'all see that do you see that there's not a spot over here i have one that's really big there in my opinion and so when i put this bb cream on it does even that out and underneath my eyes now i don't get too close to my under eyes just because the product does have spf in in it spf products the company or the product will specifically state on the back do not put this product around your eyes so i don't but i come up to about right here and i still notice that the product like once i put my concealer on i kind of blend it out I can tell that this product does help out with like evening out my under eyes, not my eyelids. I put nothing on my eyelids or I don't get close to my eyes. I just get about right here with the product, but I feel like it does seem to still, um, I don't know, maybe it's just the balance of the rest of my skin looking even. So therefore my under eyes look even as well. That's what I'm thinking, because I don't put the product anywhere around my eyes. But around my nose, where I have broken capillaries, you know, um, I noticed that those things do not stick out. And I don't even use, like, concealers to go on top like I used to and just try to cover that up. I don't do that. So, and another thing, my face is darker than my entire body, my face and my arms. And that's okay. Okay. I'm at the point is it's not okay. Cause I'm going to get some things done. Okay. Skincare things that I'm going to get done 
to my face to try to remove all of that rough and just skin that needs to be taken off. I will let y'all know about that, but first I have to take the steps to get there, but I do want to correct that about my face. My face was really severely burnt and that had to do with what I have been talking about, people like threatening me and people like breaking into my homes. They put, um, y'all hate to say this, but this is true, but they use um, relaxer product and put into my um, lotions and um, like skincare lotions and facial washes. And they, they would just put just a little bit over time. This is what I'm thinking so that it wouldn't burn intensively that I would notice something was in it. So that's why my my face is like darker than my body because you look at my neck and my chest and you go, why is her face darker than her neck and her chest? That's why. But I don't want to get into that. I really don't want to um, mess up this video, you know, and bring talk about the bad things that has happened in my life. But I'm just giving you an example of how well this product does even out my skin tone because when I put it on, uh, of course I put on bronzer and all of that. And so when you see me in person, my face do look a little darker because of the SPF. Any SPF foundation or BB cream that you put on, SPF products do um, intense intensify your skin color. So I don't have a problem. It looks gorgeous, but I'm just saying, um, even when I take off, what I'm saying, when I take off my makeup, my face is darker than my entire body. Okay, so so this product, the Garnier Skin Active BB 5-in-1 Miracle um, Skin Protector does even out the skin tone. It does, okay? And it smooths my skin. My skin looks so smooth. When I take pictures, I'm just like, like, what is going on? My skin looks so smooth. It's not that my skin is really bad. It's just what I've been through with my eye injury. Like, I'm, I'm just amazed at how well this product has really, like, improved my skin after having an eye injury. So that the eye injury affected my skin texture. So this product has smoothed my skin really, really nicely. Okay. So it has helped, it has helped the, uh, my skin elasticity is what I'm trying to say. All right. The other thing it claims to do is that it hydrates. Look at my skin. My skin is glowing. Of course. I know that I use the, uh, Bolero, uh, what is it? Hydrator, hydrating facial gel hydrator that has watermelon and aloe. And I do use the Pond's Perfect Complex um, Beauty Cream. And I do use the Collab uh, Pep Talk and Primer. I do use those, but this product really does add hydration because when I put it on and I'm rubbing it on, it feels so soothing and so just so refreshing. Like I know that this product hydrates my skin. Like sometimes I have like rough skin in certain areas and I can put this on and and you know, put the BB cream on by uh, Garnier, the Skin Active BB cream. And surely, you guys, like my skin smooths out. All those dry patches that I may have on my cheeks mainly and up here around my edges here of my forehead, those areas just like the rough, rough skin just smooths out. Now that works for me. Now I do shave my face and that's a video that I'm going to do and I'm going to show y'all how I do it now. It's not just a dry shave, but I'm going to create a video very soon. Let y'all see how I do that. And that is very important because you're exfoliating a lot of dry, uh, patchy 
skin. Okay. You're removing a lot of skin that needs to be removed off the face. But anyways, you guys, this product does hydrate and you can see this, like my skin is luminous. My skin is glowy. So it does hydrate. And the other thing is protect. It has the SPF product in it. Of course, I know that this product does work because, y'all oh, hold on. I know that this product does work because um, I can look at it and tell I have SPF on. I can look at it. Cause like I said, when I when it goes on, it's right even with my skin tone. Like it matches my neck and my chest and area and all. But as soon as it sits there, say sits there for about two or three minutes, maybe five minutes, you can see the shade intensifying. So that way you know that the SPF product or the SPF ingredients in this product is working. And when I go outside, I do feel like my skin, um, like it just, it just, I don't feel like I, it's not that my skin even feels like it's like really oily anymore with SPF, not with the ingredients that this particular product has, but I can just tell that I have something on because when, okay, this is why when I get ready to remove this product, remove my makeup in the evening. Okay. When I remove it, this is how I know I have a protective layer underneath my makeup is that when I remove my makeup, I see a tremendous change. It's like me taking off, and I hate to say it like this, but it's true. This is the only way I can describe it. When I remove my makeup, it's like taking off a mask because when I remove it, it's like, okay, there's my skin. And then when I look at my cloth, I'm like, Whoa, that is a lot of makeup. And I'm telling you, whether it's a BB cream, CC cream, whatever, when I remove the makeup off, I can tell that I've had uh, or I've used a protective layer on my skin underneath that makeup that protect my skin while I have been um, having makeup on all day. So when I remove it, it's like my whole entire cloth is loaded with makeup. And then when I take it off, I'm looking in the mirror going, oh, that's me. Like, wow. Okay. Uh, yeah. Because I can look very beautiful, bronzy, and tan, and I can remove this BB cream, this Garnier Skin Active BB cream off, and I look and I go, oh, that's me. Because it will, basically, my face will match my neck and my chest. So that's what I'm getting to. It does have that great SPF protection. And don't get upset about this, you guys. I think everybody should be using SPL products, no matter who you are. Okay. Like with me, I have naturally light tan skin. Okay. Back in the day, I never used SPL. No one that I know of in my family used SPL because, you know, we just thought we didn't need SPL, you know, for some reason, just, that's just the way it was. But, you know, at this time and day, I feel like everybody should be using it. I don't care what your skin tone may be. Yeah, use SPF to protect your skin, okay? It is important. All right, so that does... That is true about this product protecting the skin. Now, the first thing it says, it controls shine. Now, I do believe that that may be somewhat true, but I have a question. That's because I do get shiny. I do. And I can get a little oily. However, I cannot say that it's because of the Garnier Skin Active BB 5-in-1 uh, Miracle Skin Protector because I do use the Hard Candy uh, Sure Envy Hydrating Primer Mist here. And this is very hydrating. This has coconut water. It has electrolytes to energize the skin. Um, it says all free, but y'all, honestly, when you use this, this is like, this is like soothing dry skin. Okay. This is like, it feels like it has a little 
all in it, even though it says oil free. It's the coconut water, I'm thinking. Um, and it's silicone free, but I'm just saying, but it is hydrating. It says it, hydrating primer mist. So I do use this to set my face. So I don't use a mattifying um, makeup setting spray or anything like that. So I can't say for sure that the Garnier Skin Active BB 5-in-1 Miracle Skin Protector um, is control shine. I can't say 100%, but I do think um, I, I do think 90% it is, okay? And the only reason why I don't say 100% is because I am confused right now. I'm thinking that this hard candy hydrating primer mist is why I get oily. So I do think that this product, let me, let me rephrase. I do think that this Garnier Skin Active BB Cream do control shine, but it's hydrating too. So you got to think that's one of the five benefits is that it's hydrating. So I'm a little confused about the control shine part. One of the five benefits, which is control shine. I'm confused because I don't know if it's my primer mist that's causing me to get oily or is it the combination of this BB cream and the hard candy primer or hydrating primer mist or is it just this bb cream that's really causing me to get oily especially around my nose area and on my forehead a little bit um and a little bit maybe on top of the cheeks but honestly though i like the hydrating look i like the little glow or the glow that's on my skin so really even if this may cause shine or whatnot, this BB cream. I still love it because I have a beautiful, healthy glow and I'm 44. I want to look healthy. I want to look glowy. I don't want my skin to look like it's dry and parched and, you know, I don't want every single line wrinkle sticking out. So anything that will hydrate my skin, I'm going to go for it. Okay. So yeah, you guys like that's how I feel about the five in one benefits. I let you know that this is really true. It really does work. And if you're sensitive to SPF products, because for the longest time, I was very sensitive. And I'm still very sensitive to a lot of SPF products. I have to watch out what percentage. And usually I go for a smaller percentage, meaning 15%. 20, 25%. I don't go over 50% SPF. And then on top of that, there's different kinds of SPF products. And some of them, even though I may get a 15% type of SPF, if the SPF ingredient in it is something I'm sensitive to, I, I still can't use it. But with this one, I can use, and this one has the um, ingredient as far as the SPF. It has the Okay, I'm just going to spell it out. O-C-T-I-N-O-X-A-T-E. And that's 3% of that. And then it has the titanium dioxide is 3.6 or either 36%. I think it's 3.6 percent of that. And the purpose of it is for sunscreen. It says it. So these two ingredients I know I can use. So therefore, if I'm looking for a different kind of foundation that may have SPF product in it, I can look for those two and make sure and see if that's the two um, sunscreen products that is used in the foundation. But yeah, the, those two work really good with sensitive skin. I have sensitive skin. Anything can cause my skin to get red or my skin to flare up or anything like that. So if you have sensitive skin, those two sunscreen products, in my opinion, they don't affect me and I have sensitive skin. Not saying that it may not work for you, but I'm just saying 
I have tried a lot of SPF products and so far this one works for me. Okay. So yeah, you guys, this is like gold. It, it's like in a gold package, but it's like gold and it's old school. It's not a new brand new product, but it's a good one. It's one of those products that you need to have in your collection. And the most wonderful thing about it, you don't have to put this on as a base. You can use this alone. Okay. Just put this on and it does give just a little bit of coverage, but you get that SPF protection. And so, yeah, you can use this product with makeup or without makeup. So that's a wonderful thing about it as well. So yeah, y'all, I am in love with this product. It is so good and it doesn't burn my eyes. It doesn't burn my skin. Um, yeah, what more can I ask for? Like I've been super sensitive to sunscreen, but this one works for me and I'm happy to have finally decided to try this product. I was just in Walmart and I was looking at some skincare products and I looked at that and I went BB cream because I've been into BB creams. And I was like, oh, I remember that product back in 2014, 2015, people was talking about it. And I never gave it a try because I said, oh God, it has sunscreen in it. I don't think I could use it. But I said, okay, I'm going to try this. Five in one miracle skin protector. Yes, I'm going to try this. And y'all, so far, like right now, it's one of the best BB creams that I could have ever picked up and purchased. Like this is $6.86, inexpensive, and I highly recommend this one. So this is really, really good, you guys. I gave you my honest opinion and I stated the facts coming from Gornier, uh, USA com website. Um, I just think this is one of, the, one of the best products that they came out with as far as um, sunscreen protection and having something to put on the face that will give some coverage if you're like not wanting to wear makeup or you don't like makeup you can easily put this on and it just does those five in one fix our skin and that we can be able to go into like stores like walmart and drug stores and try to find something for our skin because not all of us can go to a spa or um, some kind of specific um, office to get help. Uh, sometimes we have to find things on our own and try to work with those things to help our skins. That is to try to help myself find something that will help clear my skin from this, this torture I've been through for so many years because my skin wasn't always like this like my face wasn't always darker than my entire body I'm and i used a lot of products trying to find things and then when i gave up on trying to find some skincare that would correct those sort of things then i just started wearing a lot of makeup different kinds of foundations just to cover it up now i can wear something that actually helps my skin okay actually gives my skin something that it needs like sun protection hydration uh what else um y'all know everything even out my skin tone things that really actually help out so therefore at some points or it's in some days or on some days, I can actually walk out with no makeup on and feel comfortable and confident. And that's the thing, you guys. Uh, I love makeup, but the most important thing is taking care of your skin. It really is. That's the most important because not every day we're going to want to put on makeup. And at some point, you're not going to need to put on makeup. So we need to take care of our skin first and then we can add all those extra beautiful glamorous foundations and stuff like that to put on top okay but take care of the skin and i appreciate sharing my opinions about this product i really do i appreciate y'all giving me the time 
to share my personal opinions about this Garnier Skin Active BB 5-in-1 Miracle Protector um, anti-aging product. I do recommend it, and I do think it's a fabulous product. It's an old-school product, but it is a good one, and I highly recommend it. So thank you guys for watching. Please come back for more videos. And yeah, you guys, I will see y'all in my next video and take care. Love y'all. Bye-bye.